what are sort of the common signs that you sort of recognize when an athlete might be on the edge um, and, and you're facing a condensed schedule in season? If we use an example, one of our condensed schedules, say when we're playing in the Asian Champions League, we've got a cup and we've got the sort of A-League. Um, there's scenarios where we could be playing in Perth on a Sunday. Then your next game you're playing on a Wednesday in Tokyo. And then you, you're flying back to play in Brisbane on Saturday and then that repeats again. You're off to Korea on the Wednesday. You're back in Melbourne or Sydney on the Saturday. So from a performance point of view, that's definitely, definitely got its challenges. Probably more mental than anything because you can go through with the athletes three or four weeks at a time where you actually don't have a day off and they're constantly thinking football, football, football. Um, so psychology is a big part. Um, really understanding the athletes from a personal level and distinguishing when is muscle soreness actually just muscle soreness. There's no days off. Um, I can imagine from a um, from a coach's point of view as well, it, it must be some challenging times where your energy starts to drop. How do, how do you sort of bring energy to the gym? And um, it's definitely something I've noticed you know, going past you, you seem to always have it in your voice uh, when you've got the coach's hat on. But is that something that just comes naturally even during those more challenging blocks with travel and everything else or do you have sort of a a um, preparation and a mindset going into each session i think um yeah good question i think um i think my personality is generally quite like that i'm pretty social and i like to have a bit of an edge energy about me but i've definitely learned that along the way i think the first one or two years in the environment particularly when you're going through a lot of that travel and a lot of that sort of congested schedule I didn't know how to switch off. Mm. So on a 10 hour flight, I'd be reading, I'd be podcasts. Um, when you did get a day off, I'd be spending half my day thinking about the next day or, but I think over time I've learned, you know, if you get half a day off, if you get a day off or if you get a flight um, for a few hours and, and nothing's urgent, actually enjoy that time to yourself and refresh. Got a condensed pro, uh, schedule coming up, perhaps in the next training block. Um, do you have key focuses from a speed, acceleration, power point of view? Is it a little bit of everything? Talk us through sort of your, your mindset when you're programming and you've got a condensed schedule coming up. Yeah, so firstly, I suppose my first 40 is, okay, the, the boys that are playing quite regularly, if they're starting games regularly, if they're at least coming off the bench, they're probably the least of the worries because you know they're getting a decent dose of, of training load through games. You know on a Saturday, you know on a Wednesday, you know on a Sunday, they're going to be sprinting, they're going to be running, they're going to be sort of challenging themselves from a physiological point of view. Um, it's probably more staying across the boys that aren't getting many minutes or maybe travelling a lot and not getting on the pitch at all. Mm -hmm. um, making sure that we're at some point in the week, we're getting a little bit of load. What are some general tips that you found quite helpful for uh, more your junior athletes that are looking that maybe they're a bit low in motivation um, in the middle of the season, uh, they're in a bit of a form slump and they're trying to yeah, bounce out of that? Um, again, yeah, it's a difficult question because everyone's a little bit different, but I think set goals and don't put too much pressure on mm -hmm. yourself. Um, set, set, set small goals. Uh, if you're out of a team for whatever reason, if you're not performing too well, try and strip that back and and probably set goals that you know you can probably achieve. Set goals that are within your limits, that are within your strengths. Peel that back, start from there and work forward. If you try to overanalyze too much, um, you can really dig yourself into a bit of a, a dark rabbit hole. Yeah. So, but, you know. With experience, I think we all learn how to deal with that a little bit differently. But when you're young, I think you can probably overthink it a little bit too much. Talk us through, yeah, your philosophy with, with recovery, I guess, straight after the game and then early in the week. Yeah, I think, again, I think I've developed um, the way I go about that over the years. I think early on, I was very by the textbook, um, you know, got to do this for, for this long, jump in the ice bath here, get on the bike, um, down this protein within the first, you know, 15, 20 minutes of, and we're quite regimented with how we did things. But I think with experience, I, I think I've learned you need to provide the group with as many different options as possible and then allow them to choose what they do and when they when they do it. So um, I think the two non-negotiables for me are 
uh, ensuring that food's available so that they have to eat or get some type of supplementation in immediately after a game. And I think where we can is try and provide them an environment where they can actually sleep, have a good sleep and sleep in and, and, and not get them up too early to do things that they don't need to be doing.